This video will introduce you to Veracut 7.4's new dockable panels. Each of the panels can be displayed in three different states as shown here. Docked, inside the Veracut main window. Floating, or undocked, displayed as a standalone panel. Or as an overlay. This displays the panel as a tag on the edge of the Veracut main window. When you open Veracut 7.4 for the first time, the project tree, the animation controls, and the Veracut logger panels are displayed as docked inside Veracut's main window. All other dockable panels will open as floating panels. In general, docked panels, like the project tree, will have a tab describing the panel being displayed and icons allowing you to float the panel and to dock the panel. The overlay icon will minimize the panel to give you quick access to that panel later. When you select the overlay, the panel will overlay on the Veracut main window, but as soon as you click outside the panel, it minimizes again. This behavior can be changed by selecting the stick icon, causing the overlay panel to stay. When we open a new panel, like the NC program, it will display in a floating state. We can then drag the panel, select where to dock it, either horizontal or vertical, and then simply drop it there. Veracut 7.4 also permits us to use multiple tapped panels. To do this, we open a new panel, like the status, and simply drag and drop it into the NC program panel. We can choose to display them individually or split the panel in two and display both. As you can see from this video, Veracut 7.4 enables you to personalize your workspace to match the process by which you use Veracut's many features, as well as incorporating your own personal preferences. Through the use of dockable panels, you can set up your Veracut workspace to be as simple or as complex as you choose. The layout and the last location of all dockable panels, including tabbed panels, are saved in the user's preference file. For more information on dockable panels, see the Veracut help.